Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can download files from a given URL using Python. If you ever had a situation like this, where you have a lot of files that you don't want to download manually, and instead you want to do it automatically, this is the tutorial for you. So how it's done. First of all, we need to import these modules over here. The second step, is to configure what our URL and desired extensions are. So in this case, you can see that this is the URL of this website over here, and the wanted extension is .nc. So let's copy this to our console. Now we need to access the website and request the information from the server. So we do this in this line of code over here. Let's copy this to our console. In this line of code, we request the server to give us all the information from the given URL. And if I print response, you can see that the response code is 200, meaning that the request succeeded. So we successfully received the data for this URL. Now, if the response is okay, and you can see that it's okay because the code is 200, like I said before, then we want to get the response text from the response. So if I print response text now, you can see that I got the HTML data from the URL. Now I want to parse this HTML text with the HTML parser using beautiful soup. And this is going to allow me to access the different types of categories inside this text in a much easier way. So instead working with a block of text, we're parsing the entire text to pieces using beautiful soup and then working and accessing those pieces. So I've run the code here. In the next line of code, we're creating a list of the full URL path of all the files that we want. So let's break it down to pieces. In this part of the code, what we're doing is we're finding all of the files that ends with our given extension. Then we're getting the reference to that file and combining it with our original URL. So if I'm going to copy, this line of code over here, and I'll print it now, you can see that we got the full path for each of our NC files. Then we return this list and we'll go over each one of the files in this loop over here. So for every file in the result that we got, and you can see that the result is the list that we got in this part here, we're going to get the name of all of the files. And this is a part that can change between different websites. So pay attention to this. This is relevant for the path that I used. And then we will request that file again and we'll open files on our computer in a given folder. And then we'll write to that file the contents of the file in the result. So now if I copy this function over here and I'll get the result from that function. And then if I'll run this loop over here, you can see that I'm now beginning to download all of the files in my folder. And a thing you need to notice in this code is the following. In this website, I didn't have to use a password and a username, but you will have URLs that will require authentication. So in order to do so, all you need to do is edit the request to get the URL and add authentication information like, like so, and just put your username and your password, and you'll do it when you want to get the URL pass, and also when you want to request the file itself. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.